fish are already crushing right in front of me. Just got out here. Let's see if I'll chow on this THKO wake bait here in coleslaw. The bass munching right here, chasing on little minnow, dude. Wow, there's a couple of them right there. Just fish in the mouth of a creek, pretty much. The creek runs right in behind me here, and this is the entrance, like the runoff into the main lake. These bass are pushing these shad back up in here. Farther and farther. And I'm just hoping that some of them are close. I see lots of action out farther. I can't I can't get to those guys at all. I'm hoping maybe as it goes on, some start getting pushed in a little farther. Or you know, they start pushing the shad this way. We'll see. I'm gonna start blowing up. They're chasing them right at me right now. These bass were just chasing shed right at me. I think about any minute now you guys are going to see a blow up. Whether it be on my lure or on bait fish, I don't know. There they are. Oh, boy, look at them all. Look at them all. He missed it. Wow. Did you see that? That bass crushed it. Just missed. Crazy how they ambushed these shad, man. They had them just in a wall. And then all of a sudden, just like, I don't know, 10 bass just started blowing up on them, man. Ah, oh, got him. Ah, oh, oh my God, he hit it once, let go, came back for it again. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about right there. New tech lures, new jig, <laughs> and a power team lures, swinging hammer shed. Look at that one, boys and girls. That's a solid fish right there. Nice one. On that new jig, roof of the mouth, PTL swinging hammer. On the back. There we go, guys. 312. 312, guys. There's a nice one, guys. 312, right on that connect scale. What a tank, man. How sick is that? All right, guys. Let's get her back in the water. Down she goes. I went to hook her. And I 
I thought I had her. And then I, either she came off or let go and then blew up on it again or it was a different fish. Not positive, but that was sick. He's running at me. I had to tighten my drag. Oh yeah. Another pig. Again, on the new jig, guys. Look at that one. What a beaut. Two point seven eight. Two point seven eight. Almost another three guys right there. That's a beauty. Look how fat she is. She is chowing down, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see right there. Absolute chunk, guys. Let's get her back. They're still blowing up, guys. We need to get at them. Been throwing the top water and they're not really not really hitting it. Had one blow up on it, so I decided to come over this jig with that new tech lures design. You can work them like a swim jig. So that's what I'm doing here with the PTL swinging hammer shed on the back. And they're loving it. I tightened my drag a little because it was pretty loose for whatever reason. So Oh, it looks like they're schooling up, guys. There they are. They are schooling right now. Right in the strike zone. They're blowing up farther out, too, like towards the middle. What's great about this jig here is there's lots of weeds and the new jig design comes right through those weeds very easily and it makes it much easier to work. Oh baby, crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. <laughs> Look at that fish. Oh my god. You tell me she didn't want that down her throat. This is a pig. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that fish. Oh my god. Oh, baby. Almost five, come on. 4.58, baby. 4.58. Look at that, guys. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's freaking go. Look at her. Oh my God. 
monster. Absolute freaking monster of a bass. I will never get over that catch right there. Holy moly. Oh, thank you, big girl. You are incredible. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I was hoping she was a five with that belly. <laughs> wow. Man, when she knocked slack in the line and took off that way, I knew that she was going to be a pig. Oh my god. Just messing around with a bunch of different retrieves. I'll do a steady, I'll speed it up. I'll do twitches. Instead of jerking your rod, you just use your reel handle, give it a few pops, and that's going to give that uh, swim jig an erratic action. And you can do that with any bait that you use. So you don't got to keep twitching your rod like that. You just you pop like this with your reel, and it works good. And every time you do that little pause, it's going to fall down a little, act like it's injured, hurt bait fish, and when you pop it back up, it spurts like it's trying to flutter, you know? A lot of times those bass can't handle that. And you can also do that with buzz baits too. Exact same thing, just a few pops with your wrist like that. You do it a few times to really speed it up. Just get them, gives them something other to look at than just something swimming in the water. Gives nice action. Tip of the day for you guys there. Let it sink for a minute. Get down to the bottom. You're not all the way to the bottom, just a little deeper. See if I can find any of those big, big girls down there. Maybe they're, uh, a lot of times those big ones stay underneath. The smaller ones will hit top water. And those bigger ones will just wait for those stunned shad or minnows to fall down. They'll slurp them up. So sometimes, not all the time, but in my experience, if you can get down to those fish down there and they're gonna hit your bait, they're gonna be a lot bigger. <laughs> 